So we have the magician. Something's manifesting. Yeah, did I just say that? Making things manifest. What It says what you want wants you, okay? Three of pentacles, okay? The lovers, okay? Gemini energy. We have the hierophant, okay? Taurus energy. So I feel like you guys are trying to manifest like either like building a relationship with somebody or like working on a relationship with somebody. Or the, even if you're not intentionally doing that, that's what's manifesting is at least the opportunity to work on something with somebody here. And it looks like it's going to have something to do with maybe a commitment or a spiritual connection, a spiritual love. All right. Yeah, guys, I'm telling you, manifesting you. Somebody wants you back. So if you guys have like deep down been desiring somebody, they want you too. Like they want you just as bad as you want them or they want to have this working on a connection as much as you do. Um, you guys are kind of getting more in alignment with one another. All right. We have Queen of Cups here. Yeah, you guys are maybe feeling drawn to one another or for some of you, you guys are trying to manifest like a new connection, right? As I say that, the Ace of Cups is coming out here. So... Some of you guys are trying to, um, uh, like, you're, you want somebody to express. Guys, right as before I even filmed this, I was feeling mirroring energy. So, yeah, definitely that's mirroring is twin flame energy. Like, but it's like you and this person are kind of like going through the same things, like, kind of being forced to maybe go within. Hmm. Back of the deck. We, so, what else do we have here? We have the Queen of Cups, that's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. All right, um, yeah, Taurus energy, Gemini energy, Aries energy here with the Magician. I forgot that. Strength on the back of the deck, Leo energy. So there's some obstacles are being, uh, or that are being overcome here, all right? It says taming emotions. Yeah, somebody's getting their shit together here. Yeah, somebody could be cutting off a karmic or, yeah, they could be cutting off karmic ties here. They're starting to do inner work. Maybe that's what you guys are both doing. All right, the, you guys, so you, you and this person maybe both had some people, like, you were dealing with the karmic, they were dealing with the karmic, they, you had karmic ties, they had karmic ties, which that doesn't necessarily mean it was, like, a romantic interest. It could have been family, it could have been friends, it could have been certain things that needed to be removed out of, you know, your life, out of their life, that was, like, creating obstacles for your connection. What was that noise I just heard? That was confirmation. I'm going to just take it as that. So the biggest issue for why you and this person haven't come into union yet was there were karmic ties that still needed to be removed or cut off. All right. But yeah, we have the nine of cups here. So there's going to be some type of wishes coming true or like, yeah, you're going to be feeling very happy and fulfilled here soon. And maybe you guys even feel this. Yeah. Your intuition is maybe telling you this, like your, your, your reality. If you look at your current reality, you may like, may feel like it's not like, it's not what you want it to be, but you guys feel um, that what you want and what you desire is possibly it's like headed your way and like we have it right here it says making things manifest what you want wants you somebody's trying to manifest you you guys be manifesting each other all right so tell me more about what's going on between my twin flame collective and this person so we have the queen of swords here so somebody has put um so somebody has put boundaries in place all right somebody has put boundaries in place this could be you guys uh queen of swords is gemini libra aquarius energy um, there's been boundaries put in place and somebody's like maybe focusing on their own independence. Um, somebody could also be very guarded here, but I definitely feel like somebody, or you guys could even cut somebody off. Somebody's choosing themselves here they're, or they're protecting their well being. Okay. We have the hanged man. So yeah, it's like, there's maybe a new perspective, like something's maybe at a standstill right now, or there's maybe some type of good, new perspective that's being like, cause that's being like, somebody's getting a new perspective. Tell me the hanged man is Pisces energy. The, about death ending somebody could be letting something go yeah because the hangman can also be about sacrifice or letting something go someone's sacrificing something here or someone's making some type of sacrifice here so this could even be you guys knowing that for right now you have to set boundaries with this person cut them off accept the fact that this person is not ready that they need time to grow you maybe need time to go grow grow you need to do what's best for your highest good make a healthy choice um and that's why this ending has occurred. So tell me more about what this person is feeling at this time. Their, their counterpart. How is, what's up with their counterpart? So this person's in hermit mode as well. They're kind of like, they're in solitude. They're doing some soul searching. Virgo energy. Tell me more. 
the seven of wands so they're like in this guarded energy as well or like maybe they're like tell me more about before i say what i'm gonna say tell me about the seven of wands for this person children mm, so there's something maybe someone's fighting for their children what about children six of swords Ready to move on better times ahead. What does that have to do with children? Waiting. Feelings of neediness. Maybe somebody felt like they were dependent on somebody because of their children. There's something here about children. If somebody's been more withdrawn for you, not focused on you, they've kind of like, kind of like, yeah, like withdrawn or they've been trying, they've been maybe like fighting for their children or like there's some type of obstacle in regards to children. But it like seems like somebody was like, what are they, what is this waiting energy? What is waiting? Temperance. Patience, being patient with what? What are they being patient with? A, a nightmare situation. Oh. It's some, some type of bad situation here. Sorrow, regret, remorse. Why? What are they waiting for in regards to the Nine of Swords? King of Cups. Maybe this is... Hmm, Okay, what does this have to do with the King of Cups? The Ten of Cups. What's this mean for my collective? The Ten of Pentacles. What? So maybe this person is just trying to be patient with some type of situation that they've been going through. Like, this person maybe feels like they do want to devote themselves to you. They are, like, very protective over you as well. Like, but it's like, they've been going through something. I don't know. What was the tell me more about what the nine of swords was, Spirit? What? Nine of Cups. What was the nine of it was something that they thought was going to be a wish fulfillment? But what's the, why the nine of swords? But now it's like almost like they've been going through something that they thought was gonna lead to fulfillment. Or like a happy ending, or they thought was a wish come true. But now they're in loss and regret and sadness. What does this have to do with my collective? reject so they could have rejected you they resisted a connection with you so did this person resist their their ten of cups they resisted their ten of cups their harmony satisfaction happy union and family why because of ego resisting the connection the empress what about the empress the wheel of fortune something's changing Knight of Cups. It's something is changing. They did reject you because they were unawakened to this connection, okay? They didn't understand what was going on between the two of you for whatever reason. Yeah, they felt like an extreme desire to you, like for you, but they were like holding back. They were trying to tame this. Yeah, this is maybe even, yeah, they feel very passionate about you, but why something's been up, up like they yeah something's been like forbidden why maybe they're giving to another situation but like i see them like something's about to change they did re reject this and they didn't understand who you were or what this connection was but they're going to be realizing at some point with the wheel of fortune fate and destiny a change in your love life someone's going to start seeing you as the empress taurus energy all right and want to come in with some type of romantic proposal i feel like somebody's going to regret they did i want more clarity spirit on what they um, let's see. What were they giving to that was not my collective? Tell me more about the situation that they were giving to, Spirit. What was the situation that they were giving to? I don't know. Like, we have unawakened coming out again. So they may have not been giving to another situation. It could have just been that this person is a, doesn't totally understand their love for you. Tell me more. We have the Knight of Wands. They were also lustful. I think this person was, um, they, they, they were reckless. Um, they were lustful. Yeah. Aries Leo Sage energy. Tell me more. Judgment. This person's going to come back for another, or maybe they're getting the consequences of their actions. If this person was lustful, just say they were a cheater. They were playing you in some way. They were a player. With judgment here, they may be getting some, some karma here for Pat, Pat, like getting the consequences for their actions. For others of you, this is them coming back, them awakened at some point, and then them coming back, rushing towards you, suddenly wanting another chance. Tell me more about judgment for this person. Yeah, what's the T? King of Swords. They want some type of clarity when it comes to you. They want to know what's going on with you. Like, they want some type of clarity or truth when it comes to you. 
Mm. They or they may they they may act like they're like emotionally detached, but they're always like curious about what you got going on. Like they want to know more about you. Tell me more. Four of Cups. Why are yeah refusing offers? Yeah, apathetic. They've been acting like bored, like they're uninterested, they're discontent. But or maybe they're they're bored. Or maybe some of you guys they trying to act like they just wanted a friendship with you or something like that. They've been definitely resisting this connection. What does the Three of Cups mean for this Twin Flame connection? The Three of Cups and the Four of Cups. The Star. Okay. And the Fool. Someone's about to take a leap of faith here. Eight of Wands. You're going to be here. Yeah, there's going to be a sudden change here. What does this mean for my collective? Three, see, Three of Swords. And we have the Knight of Cups. See, this doesn't make sense. So somebody maybe hurt, broke your heart. Now they're coming in with some type of proposal. What does this mean for this person? Six of Wands. Yeah, what about the Six of Wands? The Devil. Mm, they're maybe overcoming something here. Eight of Pentacles. Or they're trying to overcome some type of addiction or destructive habit, obsession. What does this mean for this person? Queen of Pentacles. What does this mean for my collective? The, they view you as the, the, you're the one that they want to come towards. Tell me more about the chariot for this person. The high priestess. The seven of seas. Something was, you saw something. Something like, somebody knows something that they can't see with their eyes. All right? It's like their intuition has been telling them something about some type of deception here. Tell me more about what this deception was. It had, it had something to do in regards to another connection. What about the two of cups? The cleanup. Whatever that was, though, they're, it's a karmic relationship. Like, it's, yeah, that was like the moon. Uh, it was very complicated. Um, I feel like you guys were, see, somebody was holding on to some type of illusion in regards to another connection or a very complicated relationship that they were, for some reason, resisting to let go. But with the Nine of Pentacles, they will be letting that go. Yeah, especially with the Ten of Wands here, too. This connection has been causing them a lot of stress, y'all. It was somebody that maybe they thought they loved and they, then they realized it was maybe exciting, right? It was maybe exciting at some point. But then they realized that it was fleeting or something like that. Or this situation has been causing them a lot of issues. It's become a nightmare for them. Who is this person? Who is this third party? It could be somebody that they had a... What about... Who's this third party? Page of Cups. What's this thing for my collective? I don't know, guys. They won't tell me about who this third party is. Maybe because it's irrelevant. Whatever it is, Ace of Swords, they're realizing that this person cannot be trusted. This is somebody that made them... They're realizing that this person was an obstacle. They're finally finding the courage to, to like, like this was somebody that was manipulating them or something. It says using their weaknesses against them, make, made false promises. They cannot be trusted. Um, they're With this Ace of Swords, they're realizing this, okay? They're realizing that this was an obstacle. That, yeah, this is somebody that had a lot of conflict and bickering and opposition was working against them, all right? But maybe they couldn't see it. They were in an illusion about this person. They couldn't see that this person actually had bad intentions for them. All right. That they couldn't trust this person. So I just see that this person's going to be trying to come in with the page of cups to want to. And it's maybe going to be surprising receiving this message or this apology from this person. But this is somebody that's wanting. It's like there was happiness between you and this person. Right. There was love and happiness between you and this person. Um, But. It was like something about grounding this relationship that was a problem, okay? Um, yeah, there's a tower here. Tell me more. Let's see. Scorpio energy. Some type of divinely guided unexpected events. Divine intervention here. Good news. It doesn't look bad, all right? I'm going to be honest. Re Somebody's re-looking at, like, at a situation differently. They haven't felt like it was over anyways. Like something's going to have the opportunity to come back together in divine timing. Coming towards you a lot more vulnerable. Seeing the truth of this connection that, yeah, four of wands, marriage, celebration. This has the potential to be something stable. Like let's get more into detail about what this was. All right. That was going on here. Okay, so, um, so 
we have justice. Yeah, karma, I'm telling you. Or this person is like wanting, they know that they need, they're trying to do the right thing or they know they need to do the right thing. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it, a, giving it careful consideration. So it's almost like they know that the right thing to do or they know or they're going to be knowing that they feel like the right thing to do is to offer you something more solid, right? But they're like really thinking it that like it's it's no coincidence that just this card came out right below her, the hermit. This person's doing a lot of soul searching right now. They're in solitude or they're doing a lot of introspecting, thinking about what the right thing to do is, how to come towards you in the right way, considering things very carefully. All right. Um, see, we have sexual union. Their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. Okay. Some of you guys maybe thought that this person was just sex at some point. Yeah, they put you on a pedestal. They told you, or they're about to. If they don't put you on a pedestal already, they, they're about to because they're going to start viewing you as the emperor or the empress. I saw that. It says, on a pedestal, you're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. Yeah, this is not somebody that opens up to people. This is not somebody that um, is vulnerable with people very easily. But for some, you are like, it says, you are the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. Yeah. We have foolish. Yeah, they feel like a fool for cross. They know they crossed the line with you. They know they messed this. They sabotage this. But too embarrassed to come forward. This person's too embarrassed to admit that they feel like a clown. Okay, guys. I feel like this person maybe got played. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know exactly. We're going to see. We have innocence. Ooh. So it says your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves. So this person knows that they are like kind of like a snake themselves or they they um how do i say that they don't they don't trust themselves with you like it's yeah we have twin flame which yes we are here for a twin flame reading so you don't have to be or do anything for them to love you their higher highest higher self wants union as much as you do which what was the card i don't know which one it was i think it was this one that was under here it says what you want wants you as well so there's nothing you have to do to like for this person to want you or want to come towards you like they are going to feel that natural pull towards you all right, so we have choices. There is a choice they have to make. Yeah, they know time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't. Yeah. We have insatiable. Yeah. They have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving you more and more. Yep. And we have message. Yeah, they want to message you and explain everything to you. So whatever was hidden will come to light. All right, I feel like with the, that's what that maybe that Ace of Swords is. They're going to tell, tell you the truth about everything that was you you felt intuitively that they weren't telling you that's probably what i'm going to name this reading like just know that this person is going to tell you the truth or the truth is going to come to light about what you were intuitively feeling that was going on with this person um it says they know that they have to do right by you so you're weighing on this person's conscience give me shed more light spirit on what this truth is going to be pertaining to this truth see we have release then when they set you free they felt the sting from your absence don't let their silence fool you so they're going to be telling you that even though they let you go or they walked away from you they've been sad over you they, they, they may act nonchalant like they don't care but that's not the truth all right what's more about this truth the unknown the unknown scares them they see the abundance you bring into their life but they fear being wrong so they're maybe afraid of you know just you know taking a leap of faith on this connection and then things not um, turning out to be the way that they, you know, because I told you, I feel like this person got played by somebody. I don't know if this was a past connection or this is somebody that they're currently dealing with because I feel like there's possibly third party en energy here. So they're going to maybe tell you that they got played in the past and they were they were protecting their heart from you when it was maybe not warranted. They were, they saw that you like they felt like you had a good heart. They saw you were very abundant, but they didn't trust it. They felt like it was an illusion, or they didn't trust it. See, battle with to the, battle of the wit. So it says, until both of you learn to let your guards down, which I already mentioned that you guys are both guarded. Before, until you guys both let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. Yeah. So there's a need for vulnerability on both sides. We have dealt a bad hand. So it says, they wish they met you at a different time because they feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been. So part of them kind of feels like it may be just too late for this connection. See, we have family tree on the back of the deck. There's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. Tell me more about that. Tell me more about what awakening. The awakening process has begun. Their awakening, maybe, because I was, the, the awakening card was a clarifier for family tree. So they're either awakening to how the way that they were raised and their cultural, whatever that's going on in their culture has been an issue in this connection or... They're awakening to some type of truth about a family situation. 
It says the awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love. So it's like the way that this person was taught love or what they thought love was because of how like they were raised, the way their parents loved them or how people around them loved. They're they're realizing that they're having they're holding a new understanding of what love is and recognizing that they're gonna at some point realize that you love them. When at some point they 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 couldn't recognize what you were giving to them as love, right? Yeah, see, we have some, there's somebody else here, the rival. They chose someone else over you, and though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. It's like they're also going to be realizing um, that what they thought was the right thing was the wrong thing. They made the wrong choice when it came to you. Tell me about this rival energy. We have breaking free. Whoever this other person is, they're letting them go. Yeah. Yep. They're letting them go. Breaking free, they are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that that kept them away from you. So whoever this rival was, they're 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 freeing themselves from that. But we have taming the beast, and this person knows that they're gonna have to come towards you correct. They can't come towards you with manipulation, they can't come towards you with false promises that you're gonna see right through that. This person's getting some type of inkling that you really are intuitive, and I don't know why. They're realizing that you like have intuitively new things. Like, maybe they, they're not spiritual or whatever, but this person's, like, realizing, like, they feel like, I just heard they feel like you're a human lie detector. Like, I don't know, but it says you make them put putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. So the things that used to work on you are not going to work on you anymore. Tell me more about breaking free and this rival energy. Breaking free and rival. Breaking free and rival. We have serendipity. They're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene to bring the two of you together. Love is a fire. You've set their heart on fire and the soul ever burning and unquenchable. It's it's a natural and undeniable connection. They can't deny. Yeah, you guys are energetically connected too. They feel you. It's like it's going to get to the point where they realize like, oh shit, like the collective was my person. That was my counterpart, right? And it says, despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cores that is keeping you two connected. And they're going to be in this regret energy. They, that's what I'm saying. Like they're going to realize who you are at some point. And they're going to be in regret about, like, they're going to realize that they, like, maybe fumbled their ultimate happiness and fulfillment. They are having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expect you to forgive them. Yeah, they know that they've done you dirty. Yeah, they were emotionally unavailable. It says they are emotionally unavailable. It is for the, your highest good to move on and find your happiness again. So I feel like that's what you guys may be doing is like trying to move on from this person, detach. And then look, this unexpected event is going to happen. It says the answers you seek are coming. But when the answers arrive, it might be too late for you to, or you have moved on. So yeah, they're going to take this leap of faith to express this unspoken love that they have for you. But yeah, they're going to put their pride aside and take a leap of faith. How is that looking like it's going to work out for them? That leap of faith that they're going to take unexpected. It says healing. So it says they're at the end of a healing, a big healing cycle coming to peace with their past and bringing balance into the connection. So, I mean, we do have breakthrough on the back of the deck. So it says they are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. Yeah. They're realizing that they let their, their past hurts and wounds did I say it was unwarranted, unfounded, same thing. Unfounded fear. They are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion, the illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. So I do feel like they chose someone over you, but this person's biggest obstacle was themselves, okay? Them letting the past and how other people treated them before not see you for who you truly were. See you as somebody that you weren't, right? Their, the way that they were taught what love was and how people treat, like how their parents treated them. They, it's like they were very, like they were in an illusion. I don't know how else to put it, but they're going to be getting this divine truth. They're going to be seeing the, getting clarity about all of this. We are helping this connection. So we are, this the, the, the divine. So they, they've been hoping for some type of serendipity here, divine intervention. You maybe have been hoping for that as well. It says we are helping the connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. So yeah. That this was a fairy tale romance that they thought was too too good to be true. So just expect a gesture from this person, okay? It says you can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection. Give them a chance to prove themselves. Yeah. It's like, yeah, they're starting to feel you pull away. I told you, I feel like you guys are starting to try to detach from this person. They wish that they could keep you reeled in or pull you back in. Like, to, they wish they want to show you that they are worth keeping or that they can be what you need. 
But I feel like you're about to get some type of wish fulfillment. If you were like this, there's something that you thought was probably never going to happen is possibly going to happen here. There's a lot of excitement in the air. You awaken a new life in them that has left has them lost in a field of possibilities. Yeah, there's something definitely coming to an end though. They enter your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now their part, now their part in your story is over. Hmm. I don't believe that. I feel like something's coming to an end, but I don't think it has anything to do. Maybe they were like having a hard time letting go of somebody that, like, they were not letting go of something that was a karmic. They weren't letting go of a karmic. I can't make it up. Like, they, something needed to come to an end, but they have a hard time letting people go. Somebody entered their life to test them and teach them, right, to, so that they can move towards their higher self. And that was that. But this person, like I said, maybe not be spiritual. They don't understand. They have a hard time letting people go. They've been clinging to a karmic that there was supposed to be an ending with or that they should have let go of a long time ago. But for some reason, they're afraid to let this person go. Like that 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 person's part in their story is was supposed to have been over a long time ago. But they're still holding on to this person. Yeah, did I say that they don't trust themselves? They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be please be patient. They gotta let go of these this it's like this person has a hard time letting things go. Like it, it may not even be just one person. It could be multiple things that this person has been holding on to, and it's just weighing them down. Like they're carrying all this baggage because instead of like just taking the lesson from the situation and letting it go and moving on with their life, they hold on to grudges, they hold on to the hurt, they hold on to everything, right? And it says there's a lot of bag baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. So, yeah, you guys are definitely energetically connected. The telepathy you, you share cannot be ignored. Your words are solely leaving imprints upon their heart. 